Hello traders, let's take a look at the mean reversion forex strategy. We will use the Bollinger Band indicator. The premise of the strategy is that momentary imbalances in the market tend to be quickly equalized and the price tends to revert to the mean. Bollinger Bands indicator can be used to highlight such momentary imbalances and that is because the indicator is constructed around a simple moving average and the other two lines of the indicator are, that are placed above and below the moving average, that is the center line, are placed at two standard deviations from the center line. Statistically, over 90% of the time the price will be in between the upper and the lower bands when we have a Bollinger Bands indicator plotted using two standard deviations. Because most of the time the price will evolve in between the upper and the lower Bollinger Bands, our jobs to detect and pinpoint momentary imbalances in the market becomes easier and we will try to exploit those brief moments of imbalance. Therefore the setup of the strategy involves two consecutive candles. The first candle must close outside of the Bollinger Bands and the second candle must close inside the Bollinger Bands. When two consecutive candles are showing this kind of price evolution, it is usually a sign that the market equilibrium needs to be restored. The first candle that closes outside the Bollinger Bands signals the abnormal event that already took place. The candle that closes inside the bands signals the beginning of the equalizing move. That is our entry point and with every trade we will protect our entry by placing a stop loss beyond the wick of the candle that signaled the imbalance in the market. Another way of picking a stop loss would be to take into consideration the recent market volatility. The target can be placed at equal distance as the stop loss or even a bit larger if our risk reward ratio calls for and to remove the subjectivity of the calculation of the target distance we can use the average true range indicator which over the period that uh, we were plotting the Bollinger Bands will show us what is the average size of the candle on this specific pair, on this specific time frame, so it will adapt to current market conditions. Now let's scroll to the left and let's try to look for such setups to see if this is a strategy that can produce winners and losers and which are the proportions for that. We will try to move the chart to the right as candles will form and only look to the left to assess if the entry is valid or not. 
let's pick this one we see the bearish candle closed outside the band it is followed by another candle that closes outside the band then another one that closes just inside or on the boundary of the Bollinger Bands and the entry should be on the next candle open if this is the entry let's measure the stop loss distance should be about 13 pips and we can place a target about 13 pips away from the, the entry point if we are taking into consideration the average true range indicator to get the average true range in this market conditions we also see that it is showing us a 12 pip average true range which is in line and close enough with our stop loss distance so looking to the right we see that 13 pips from the entry is reached about here and before this 13 pips is reached we have no instance when our stop loss is touched so that should be a win to make that more easily visible let's use some trend lines so we are entering at this point let's make this trend line fit for our purpose we will use a thicker one and a neutral color to signal the entry point now from the entry point we have the stop loss right about here which can be let's say tomato and a target about 13 pips higher which can be deep sky blue and extending these lines we see that our target is hit on this candle and before the target is hit there is no touch of our stop loss moving on we see another candle the price closed outside the Bollinger Bands then inside the Bollinger Bands so the, our, our entry should be here let's get an entry line here let's measure the stop loss distance which should be about 12 pips apart 12 pips away from the entry point and that is here and a target at about 12 pips away on the upside if we were to measure the average true range indicator it is suggesting about a 10 pip target 10 pip stop loss so this is a winner too here we have another example we have a big candle a close outside then a close still outside then a close inside the Bollinger Bands so our entry should be here
our stop loss we can place it above this point and our target at equal or slightly greater distance than the stop loss and here we have about 10 pips stop loss and 10 pips target unfortunately this is a case when a gap up took our stop before our, our target so this is a loss moving on another instance closing outside the bands closing still outside the bands closing still outside the bands then we have a close inside the bands so we have an entry point the entry point that should be here we are protecting it with a stop loss right about here and because it is at about 8 pips distance we will place the target about 8 pips or more from the entry point 9 pips down 9 or more pips up the ATR tells us that we have about 12 pips average through range of the candle and as we see the target is touched and we close the trade in profit before the stop loss is touched moving on no close outside, no valid entry close outside, close still outside, close inside this is another entry we should enter here we can place our stop here and our target at approximately the same distance from the open price as the stop loss is placed if we were to measure we have about 21 pips stop loss so we are looking for 20 something pips gain and the ATR is also telling us that the average to range is about 11 pips which is smaller than the protective stop so we'll go with that and as we see the market moves up doesn't touch our stop loss but takes our target and again we have a winner so far so good let's take a look at another one no close outside the Bollinger Bands this is too close to be called an outside close this is a close outside it is followed by a close inside the Bollinger Bands so we'll try to enter on the next candle open the next candle open as we see this is a bearish bar and the next candle open is a gap up so we should discard that because that's a market condition without trading continuity and we don't know what caused that and uh, abnormal as it is we don't trade that kind of event so the gaps are better left alone and this strategy shoots for the continuity of a market trending here we have another close outside the bands close outside the bands close inside the bands so we have another entry
that should be right about here with a protective stop under this candle and the target right about here at an equal or greater distance than the stop loss let's measure to make sure about 13 pips stop loss more than 13 pips target and as we see our target is touched and we have another winner so this strategy seems to be working mean reversion theory says that it should work better in correlated currency pairs and if we are careful and pick such currency pairs and not very trendy ones we should be fine that being said good luck and good peeps to see more please subscribe give us a thumb up and share our clips